I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can apply specific aspect ratio changes of letterboxing to individual clips in your timeline. Let's take a look at how you do this. And again, my objective is to do this as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna go into the color page and I'm going to switch the node editor to timeline mode. And in timeline mode, I am now setting the keyframe editor to apply keyframes to the entire timeline. Now by default, the timeline editor does not have a node. So you can see if I switch back and forth, the keyframe editor is updating to show me the contents of the timeline editor. I'm going to add a node, and you can see that this node is outlined in blue. That helps you to know whether you're in clip mode or timeline mode. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the keyframe editor, and I'm gonna right click the sizing track, and I'm gonna choose add EDL marks on tracks. And just like that, you can see that I get these white, round, static keyframes covering the track marking the boundary between every clip in the timeline. So you can see as I drag the playhead along, those static keyframes basically mark every edit point in my existing timeline. So even though they're called EDL marks, you don't have to have imported an EDL to use this feature. It's just gonna go ahead and copy marks to correspond to all the edits in the currently selected track. With this setup, it's really easy for me to go up to the color menu. And for this first shot, I want this to be really widescreen. So I can go down to the output blanking submenu. Output blanking is how you set up letterboxing in Resolve. And it is one of the very last operations in the image processing pipeline. So no matter what you do to the clips in terms of sizing and color correction and applying effects, all of that will be blanked out by this operation. So I'm gonna choose 240, nice wide screen set of letter boxes for that clip. And you'll notice as I cross the boundary past the next hold keyframe, the screen goes back to the original aspect ratio. And I'm gonna actually Scroll up a little bit to make this easier to see. So let's say for this, I want it to stay basically 177, which is a 16 by nine aspect ratio. In the next shot though, I wanna go back to 240. And then here, let's just say for fun, I wanna go in reverse and I actually wanna pillar box this. So at this point, you can see that because these are static keyframes, as long as the playhead is anywhere in between any pair of static keyframes, it'll go ahead and apply the adjustment I want to that whole shot. If at any point I decide that I want to animate one of these transitions rather than having resolve just cutting from one aspect ratio to the next, I could zoom in, open up the sizing palette, and you'll notice that whenever you're in timeline mode, you're set to output sizing. And here are my blanking sliders. So you can see that here are the previous settings, here are the new settings. So one thing I could do is I could right click to add another static keyframe. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the playhead back I'm going to change this to a dynamic keyframe. I'm gonna change this to a dynamic keyframe. And now while the playhead is parked over this particular keyframe, I'm going to change the letterboxing back to what it was in the prior shot, which is 240. You can see I've created this animated change. 
I hope you found that technique useful. For more information on working in the color page of DaVinci Resolve, I strongly recommend you go and check out my DaVinci Resolve titles for Ripple training. I'm Alexis Van Herkman. Thanks for watching.